Hey guys, Joe with Orlando Home Fires, and today I'm in the Windermere area in Gotha. This is a boutique community, very limited opportunities, if any. So this is a gorgeous one-story home, over 3,500 square feet on one story, four bedrooms, four baths, three-car garage, and it has that courtyard. So it's amazing. This also has that resort-style backyard, and this also has that second floor that brings you over to 4,000 square feet and adds another bathroom. So. If you want to see these, please give me a call. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for instant notifications, like this video, and comment below. For now, enjoy the tour. Let's start with this front gate here between the garage and you enter into your courtyard. This is super cool. So this is a space in between the garage and the main home. You can see this elevation has those windows, all this wraparound windows, pavers in here. Then you have your front door. This is your entry for your very grand open concept you could see this has the 12 foot ceilings this has the formal dining in this front area here really open concept as you can see we're going to go through a couple ways to show you this floor plan but let's start by right here and coming in from this foyer entry let's step back you have the column separating you from this main space. This is your open concept family room, 12 foot soaring ceilings, and then you have the oversized tray that gives you an additional foot and a half. That really feels like you have a lot of volume. You can see this has the hardwood, blonde hardwood floors that give you that really natural feel. Look at how big this floor pan feels. This is an oversized L couch and you still have a ton of elbow room. An absolutely grand floor plan. Let's see what's happening here with this gourmet kitchen. There is just so much going on. I'm gonna to have to slow down and give you a good look at this. So right away you have the oversized island with the high-end quartz. This is the Cambria. Usually Carrera could be Carrera quartz, but this is most likely the Cambria higher end version of this, this quartz. So right here you have your buffet and you have the microwave in the cabinet. Feels like it's floating. You have the undermount LED lights and then the drawers. Let's turn around real quick and take another look at this. Wow, a lot going on here. You have your secondary cabinets on top going all the way to the ceiling here. It has the glass face and the lighting. So that's a big upgrade. This also has the industrial built-in refrigerator. That's like $10,000 for that when you get these. It also has the wood trim cabinet range hood and also the Cambria backslash, look at that. That is amazing. Range here, your gas, high-end GE monogram with your gold and brushed. I love this. So usually you're gonna have the um, range on top, but that's a cooktop on top. So this right here has the monogram double oven on top and then the single oven below. Gotta love it, this kitchen is upgraded upon upgrades. You have the cabinets on the side, drawers, you have your cast iron apron sink. Let's 
So we are going to go zigzag a little <laughs> before we enter many areas. This house is a maze, 3,500 square feet on one floor. I'm gonna back up here into what we have is the pantry. So great size walk-in pantry. Butler kitchen, so again, high-end cabinets. This is your beverage refrigerator and your quartz over here. So lots of upgrades in this home. In the back, you have your kitchen dining, kitchen nook, surrounded by windows, perfectly placed. I seen this with a, the last time had a bay window, I believe, but look at this space five windows just in this area living in the natural light okay before we go to that uh, area there's going to be a little zigzagging here let's check out this resort style backyard okay so you have a triple slider but it doesn't fully pocket out you still have Gorgeous outdoor living. Oversized covered lanai. You can see you have your gourmet upgraded summer kitchen. Industrial range hood, grill, refrigerator, and wet sink. 12 by 24 inch pavers. This is the shell stone pavers. And then your resort style backyard with this gorgeous pool you have your high-end sun shelf chairs you have the fountain and then you still have space behind here at least 10 feet between the fence and your pool so you can see this has that oversized wall I love this pool so this is more of a lap pool Love that water feature. Have the sun shelf and then your seating area. And then another view from way back here. So this is this is uh, what you call no maintenance lawn. You have very little grass back here, but you have all of this space. So backing up here, you have another bathroom over there. So you don't have to get a pool bath because it's right there. Okay. We are going to be zigzagging. And then we'll end up at the primary. Remember that door I mentioned back there outside? That will bring you to the pool bath. So this area back here. Coming in from your pool area your linen closet oh wood white wood shelves into your full bath again soaring ceilings in here this has the quartz with the white shaker style and then your oversized 24 by 24 tiles I love that that's gorgeous frameless shower and then your subway tiles in a 50 50 and then your smaller format for the floor I love these barn wood floors. So this is your Jack and Jill. This is the room in the back. I love this interior design, always. Jack and Jill, you'll have your own sink and closet. Again, this is high end. Let me open some lights. With the same with the quartz shaker style cabinets and you have your walk-in closet great size this is really nice with your white wood shelving this is for your dulce loves the white wood shelving this has the 24 by 24 polished tiles with the dot of the stello 
This is your shared bath. I love how it has this tower shelf, no wasted space. Then you have your other vanity. Over here, same thing. Quartz, shaker style. And then your walk-in closet. Okay, that's not a walk-in closet. So this is a standard closet, good space. Also has the wood shelf. And then this is the room in the front that I was telling you about. This is the first room, love that Tiffany blue in this space. Okay, so now we're back to the front of the home. Remember when we first went through here? So now you have your entryway from the garage. You have your valet over there, shelf. So we are back into the main space. Let's start with this area here. In the front of the home on the side of the courtyard with your one car garage, you have a couple things. I'm gonna skip the laundry for now and come back here. This is really cool. So two things to consider, valet drop zone for your one car garage. And then you have your ensuite back here. Great size room, has the crown molding. Carpet in here and those two windows really has a great feel. Walk-in closet with a standard size window. I'll take it, I'll take it. And then you have your ensuite. Fully loaded. When I say fully loaded, it has the frameless glass. It has your polished. 12 by 24 tiles, 70, 30. I love how it has that kind of brown tone because a lot of them used to be gray tone. Quartz, shaker style. Very natural colors, love the interior design. One more room. This is your office. So you have four bedrooms down here and the office. That is definitely what most people want. They want that office and space. But if they wanted more space, they can have this. This as gets you over 4,000 square feet. This has the upgraded trailers with the hardwood floors, classic white spindles with the stained handrail. Part. This is like that gray stain with the white, white risers. Then just an open concept space to get away. So a lot of people like that one story, but if they wanted an additional space, this is a great floor plan. Okay, in the back you have your closet. Has the HVAC. Another closet on the other side, and then a full bath. Full bath, so eight foot doors here. So this is almost nine feet. Definitely feel the volume here. Same thing, this has the oversized subway tiles in a 50-50, frameless glass shower, pebble stone, penny stone floors, Hello, quartz, this has that wood look tile, and then really just carpet in this main space. Five windows in the front of the home, and then you have four transom windows, letting in all that natural light in here. Before we go down, let's check this out, I think, small, Closet with HVAC. HVAC, a little bit of space, but you really don't want to put anything in there. Let's go to the last and final room in this house. Oh. Laundry room, fully upgraded. The wet sink and cabinets and the tile floors. It's 
Let's go to the last and final. Right back here behind the family room, you have your primary. This is going to stun you. That is gorgeous. Oversized with the sitting area. This has the luxury carpet, has the tray throughout, so it gives you that extra volume in here. It might be a drop tray, because it's... Look at that, that is cool. A TV here in the corner. Let's check out the bathroom. Oops, step back real quick. If you want to go into your pool, wake up, and there you have it. Chandelier. Let's go into this bath. That's gorgeous. So you have his and her vanities, oversized vanities with the drawers on each side, polished floors in the herringbone pattern, very high ceilings in here with the tray, and then you have your standalone freestanding tub. I love that. Oversized shower, also with the polished 20 four by 12 tiles, 70, 30, and then we have the secondary tile on the top, giving you that extra design pattern. Water closet back here, and then great size primary closet. Really great. Just right, just right. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed this tour. This is an amazing home. As you can see, it has upgrades galore. Limited opportunity, if any, in this community. So if you wanna see these homes, give me a call 407-484-8458 or email me at orlandohomefighters at gmail.com. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell for instant notifications, like this video, and comment below. Hey guys, have an amazing day, and I'll see you around the neighborhood.